So this was my giveaway video to thank everybody and let them know the, the free template was available. And I did it specifically with this tilt because I wanted to share a tutorial on the camera that was more than just the other tutorials that I had. So I muted it because when I'm using Loom, it seems to make some weird sounds when it's recording with any audio in my Create Studio app. But all I did was I have a camera that is set at an angle and then it goes to the a larger portion and then it zooms into the screen and then it zoomed out. So let me show you really quickly how to do it. It's just a fun animation you can do. So let me just grab any scene. This is where I need to prepare before I do some of these. I'm going to exit camera mode. And let's just get Danny. And let's just have him standing idle. I'm not going to make a whole bunch of fancy things, but just to show you what it is. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to go up here to components. I'm going to go to the component section and drag and drop the camera on my canvas. And now I actually probably didn't have to do that because I already had the camera. But once you do that, you just double click on that top line because at the beginning you'll see that there's a camera right here. So that's showing you it's the camera line. So let me show you again. I'm going to just double tap with my mouse. And the position of this, these purple lines and these four dots is where the camera will be. So I'm going to make it smaller, focus on Danny, and then I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. So now when I play it, it's tilted in. Then if I want it to expand and maybe show more of the room, I need to be sure I go after the bar. And then right now it expanded out, but say I want it to just get a little bit bigger and tilt just a little, which way did I have it tilted before? Yeah, so then it can tilt a little bit that way. So let's see what happens. And then maybe you have another character over here. So that's all you have to do to, um, to make just a little bit more of an action on your screen. So now he's going to talk to his mother. Easy, right? The other thing that you just want to know is you can click on the camera blue line, go to easing, and you can change your easings. You can make the transition take longer by clicking and dragging. So then this will take a longer period of time of zooming. I think that's a little bit slow, but you can do what you want. You can make it super fast. This is probably going to give us whiplash. Um, and that's all you have to do. And then what I did is I added another camera bar, the position before is where I had set it. I have to go after it and then I can expand it to the whole thing if I want. So here's what would happen there. Now if I, let me undo that, if I add a camera here and I mistakenly don't go after the bar and I do that and I expand it, you guessed it, it's going to expand it from the first one and not go to that middle animation that I did. So you just need to make sure that you are after the, the bar. All right, I hope that helped.